Hey guys, I'm Kelly. Welcome to my channel, Incredible Anyway, where I talk about how to live an incredible life no matter what your circumstances are. Okay, update on the Meniere's saga. <laughs> Meniere's treatment saga. Just to catch you up, my Meniere's doctor, my neurootologist that I see in Nashville, I had a telehealth with him. He said that he is retiring but that he believes I need surgery. He said he would refer me to a doctor that is local to me, that's a neurotologist, a Meniere's doctor. I kind of took that as he was gonna get me in with this doctor soon because my insurance is changing at the end of the year and I have really good insurance now and it would be better to get the surgery done now. Unfortunately, the new Meniere's doctor doesn't have an appointment until mid-February and there are 20 people ahead of me on the cancellation list. So I called my Nashville Meniere's doctor and I said, is there anything you can do, any strings you could pull to get me into this doctor sooner? And he came back and said no. So as a last resort, I asked if we could do a gentamicin procedure, put gentamicin in my ear again, because while my hair cells grow back, the gentamicin does kill them for a little bit. This would give me, hopefully, some temporary relief from the persistent Meniere's attacks that I'm having. We don't know how much, we don't know how long, but it's better than nothing in my opinion. And so my Meniere's doctor in Nashville agreed. I am going in to get a gentamicin procedure. I call it a procedure because they're opening up my eardrum and putting the gentamicin in rather than injecting it through a needle. I'm going to be getting that done a week from tomorrow. That is very exciting. My mom just had surgery on her hand today, so she can't drive me, but my dad can drive me. I am really, really hopeful that this will give me some relief. Anything is better than what I've been living with right now. And I'm just glad that my doctor agreed to do this before he retires. Really, really does suck that I can't get into this Meniere's doctor sooner than February. I have the paperwork filled out <laughs> so that if they call and say, can you come in tomorrow? I would say yes. So the new Meniere's doctor was is going to see me like a new patient and will evaluate me like a new patient. He's not just going to say, oh, this other doctor wanted to do surgery. Okay, we'll do surgery. He's gonna have to have to come to that conclusion on his own. So I still have the hurdle of going to the the new patient appointment, hopefully then scheduling, deciding and scheduling a surgery, but it may not be on that first appointment. So it's, it's hard thinking that it may be spring before I have this surgery and we're not even into winter yet, but in the long term of things, there is an end of chapter for my Meniere's. I'll take it as it comes and who knows what's gonna happen in the next few months. Time goes by fast. At least there's something happening. And I'm going to think very positively and I'm going to envision that medication that's toxic to my ear going and killing those cells again. Yeah, I have badass cells. <laughs> yes, I have really resilient nerve cells, but we do kill them. Let's kill them. <laughs> Let's kill them. Maybe they'll stay dead. Maybe more of them will stay dead this time. You never know. You never know. I'm Kelly. Remember, you are not alone. Go live your incredible anyway. Love you guys. And I'll live my incredible anyway, too. Let's do it together. Dash, you want to say bye to people? Say bye, everyone. It's like you woke me up to do this. You are not alone in this world. You are not alone. You are not alone in this world you are not